yeah that does make sense you guys have like a list of things that you start testing first like maybe colors on the main image the direction the product is facing uh, yeah the right yeah, the color general rule for me is colors and contrast on the main image um most most of the time uh most product lines if there's any kind of packaging involved, like a supplement is an, is an example of that, or a beauty product, it usually has some kind of package. Um, the, the person who designed the packaging went for, oh, this looks glossy and, and the, the colors are subtle and I'm going to use some, you know, some serif, you know, some uh, italic fonts and all these kind of stuff. Very hard to read on a mobile phone. And so uh, I know there's been a number of um, uh, posts lately talking about, you know, how do you emphasize individual words and that creates better engagement and it's like while we've been doing that all along um it's become certainly a more popular method because it works um you, you've got to have a higher contrast bigger font maybe your what's on your packaging is not what is shown on the main image uh, on amazon maybe the main image on amazon is more of a close-up where certain uh, elements like a, a benefit, a unique benefit or feature are emphasized slightly in, in post, you know, like Photoshop kind of thing. Right. But at the same time, it still looks natural. It's not, it's not breaking any terms of service for main image with Amazon, but you've got to grab your attention of a, of a shopper who's scrolling through a list of search results and pull them away from your competitors and having a product main image that looks like a dozen of your competitors definitely is going to fail catching the attention of the shopper. So yeah, main image for sure. Um, high contrast colors definitely helps. Um, 